Hello everybody. Um, so this is a video about uh, accessing a BBS on a C64 or one to eight as you see before you. I'm using we oh, can't see that I'm using strike term uh, D64 image on then uh, IEC to SD reader this thing here. Or the U1541 there. Or a real disk drive, you know, if you're old school. So, how do you do it? Well, you need a 64 or 1 to 8. You also need one of these things, which is a uh, serial link, an RS232, um, made by GG Labs in this particular case, although there are others. You can even make your own if you're that way inclined. But this thing will allow you to connect at 9600 uh, BPS rather than the best that the Commodore can achieve in software, which is 2400, I think. So it will be a lot quicker using this thing than it will just using the standard um, well, software of the um, Commodore. So as you can see, that's a 1 to 8. Um, going down a, a serial lead to Telnet BBS server 1.4. Now this thing is the best way I've found yet to connect my 64 to a PC to give me BBS access. In fact, it's the only thing I've found so far that will actually connect. I've tried lots and lots of different software, and none of it works, for whatever reason. It could well be me, but whatever it is, it doesn't work. However, this does. Um, I'll just flick through the menus, and try not to, to be too wobbly. Um, I'm clicking advance now, so if you're using it You'll be able to see some of the options I have and how it's set up. I'm sure if you're wanting to set one up, um, just click pause here and you'll be able to see how mine's set up and how it works. Don't use the phone book on it. I won't save it. But anyway, that's in running condition. Uh, it's been running all day actually. This is Windows 7 on a old PC that will that will be um, turned into a main machine at some point. But anyway, this is Telnet BBS Server 1.4a. I've provided a link to it on my website, which is uh, www.amigasoftware.co.uk. So you can download it from there. Among other places, I'm sure. But and here we go. Not a very good example. It's just lost connection. But anyway, that is uh, what is it? Endless Chaos BBS. What I'm doing at the moment is just flicking through my um, phone book directory that I created early this afternoon with probably 15 BBS addresses in it. I'm trying each one in turn, seeing. Which one's got any good, any information on it, any people on it? Um, there are a few, surprisingly. So there are a few sad people using their Commodores to connect to the internet. Even in 2016. Hard to believe, but true. So, what do you need to make this thing work? Well, you need a C64, or one to eight. You will need strike term, either as a disk, uh, a D64 image. Um, the cheapest way is probably the IEC to uh, SD. You can get these on eBay for I don't know 30, 35, 40 pounds. If you're feeling flush, you can use a, a U1541, which will give you slightly quicker and easier access to um, D64 images and cartridge images and various other things. I'll even play Sid music for you, which is nice. But they're a lot of money, and they're not so easy to get. You will also need 
uh, obviously an output to a TV but you'll also need an RS-232 connection now you, there are all kinds of different options for doing this you can buy LAN cards, the RRnet various other things, even the uh, this thing the U1541 has got an Ethernet on it but it's such a pain in the neck to use using, uh, was it Contiki? oh it's awful, so I gave up stopped using it um, this thing is also a pain in the neck not at the Commodore end, it works fine the pain in the neck was at the PC end because I could not find working reliable software to connect to the Commodore BBS, well any BBS it was becoming very frustrating uh, the Telnet BBS I found late last night and it worked I think first go whereas I'd spent a day or many many hours anyway using different software, virtual modems, virtual ports, com links all sorts of crap, none of it worked I tried it on the PC, I tried it on the Mac I almost got a connection on the Mac but not really but this thing, the Telnet BBS, works uh, I provided links, download links and photos on my website so you, at least you can use it try it and um, hopefully I'll explain how to use it a little bit but if you have any problems send me a message and I'll try and help you but uh, there we go this is part two of the BBS um, video part one shows me messing about with it using a few BBS's but I just wanted to show the hardware in this video oh the um, RS-232 card is I think £20, £25 so you can make your own but I'm lazy and I bought one, so there. Anyway, thank you very much. Bye.